Oh no. Yeah, it's me again. <clears throat> so, tap water. Let's, let's run it down. Babies grow in tap water. Water. Depending on what water you use. <clears throat> Products are made with water. Not picking on you, Sunkiss, but first ingredient carbonated water. Is that tap water? Because what I'm thinking is bacteria are neither dead or alive, and you're going to let it sit in here with food and let light hit it. Not just you, but a whole bunch of other people too, as well. Beer, soda, soups, you name it. You are going to tell me that it's perfectly fine for you to use this, let alone have a baby grow in it, or bathe in it. Now make sure you listen closely when he says, for the people who drink bottled water, I'm sorry, but I have some bad news for you. Most of them come in through the simple act of showering. So these more volatile pollutants come in through the skin and you're going to make food products from it. Um, either no one can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, or <clears throat> I'd say people are being brainwashed. Because this is 116,000 man-made chemicals. Unknown what they do, interacting. Unknown, or maybe known, unknown to me, on what it does when it sits in here and has all this food to eat let's let's just get the vision here the united states does not keep active records of how many people get sick from our water supply now now i gotta stop this again because you heard he said doesn't keep active they don't keep accurate records of who gets sick from water now why why would that be so could it be because all your food products are made with tap water or how about this? All your produce in your supermarket is sprayed with tap water. Look up grave diggers. They know that bacteria is neither dead or alive. All it needs is light to reactivate it if it's the right frequency. All right, enough of that. Here, here you go. There are estimates that from 500,000 to 7 million people get sick per year from drinking their tap water. One of the problems is that we have uh, lots of bugs in the system, viruses, pathogens, bacteria. A lot of those things that you think of as stomach viruses or flus, about 40% of those come from your drinking water. Okay, I'm going to keep pausing it, keep doing these little, little segues just so we can understand because this is not a hard concept. I mean, I didn't even graduate from, from high school. I didn't even go to college. But putting what he just said inside food to sit on a shelf for I don't know how long. And then, and then on top of it, you're going to go, beep. That's light. That's a frequency. That's all that's stated that needs to be to reactivate light. But let's just carry on. We are not removing things like industrial chemicals, rocket fuel, pesticides, certain pharmaceuticals, drugs that were discharged either by big animal factories or by sewage treatment plants. A lot of people think they don't have to worry about their water supply because they go out and buy bottled water. Well, we have news for them. In fact, a lot of your exposure to many of the chemicals comes from the simple act of showering in them. So some of these more volatile pollutants come in through your skin. Now, I guess I'm just not understanding why it doesn't click with a lot of people, but if it's coming in through your skin and then a company is going to make your food with it, something is amiss. I mean, 116,000 man-made chemicals is nothing to sneeze at, especially when we have tools to make distilled water. If you had nothing in, like, no factories, no cars, no boats, no nothing, it would be zero parts per million. In some places, it gets pretty close to that. But let's just think about this. A growing baby, does, does it need 116,000 human chemicals? No. 
Does your pancake at the restaurant, when we go down there and go order your pancake, does that need 116,000 man-made chemicals in it? Could that be the reason why you're sick some of the times and sometimes not? Because that water needs frequency to reactivate. Um, there's a Japanese um, scientist who freezes water at certain tones. And the reason why my tone is all, is because babies are growing in that. Poor baby didn't do nothing. And it's got to grow in 116,000 man-made chemicals. And then I got to be like, hey, mother, don't, don't feel sorry. Don't feel bad. It's not your fault. Um, everybody thinks it's safe. Ask anybody, oh, our water's the safest. Well, not according to what they're saying. And we're going to go on a little bit more. I know it's long. I know. There are over 116,000 human-made chemicals. We have no idea how they interact. We are becoming experiments for these synthetic chemicals. And when the liver takes these chemicals out of our bodies, what happens? They get flushed down the toilet. And then they go into the aquifer. And then they go into our rivers and streams. We take the water from the rivers and streams and we put it into our public water supply systems and we're drinking it again. Oh, okay, so now I, I did the first one and I was like, how is that not child abuse? Here, here's 116,000 anime chemicals. Merry Christmas. But, you know, someone, she liked the message, she didn't like the tone, and I'm like, I'm sorry, it's... I didn't like the tone either. That's why I did a video on it. But my concept is even bigger yet. Is this 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 should be this should be removed from the shelf immediately? Not just you, Sunkiss. I don't know. I drank a lot of this when I was a kid. But just just imagine that bad water. It doesn't say filtered on here at all. It just says carbonated water, and no company is gonna go spend no thirty or what is it dollar fifty for a gallon. Uh, no, but th there it is in a nutshell. And this is everywhere you go. You're at gas station in the morning, tap water, and and it's so it's so tricky too because it's so hard to talk about this because one person will they get they get that that gun holiness in them without saying hey let's just look at it. We don't have to be all well. I know this and I just tested it. Yeah, you tested it there at the plant. You didn't test it after it went through a uh, 150-year-old piping that's never been maintenance. And then at the faucet end, when it went, ran through copper, copper of all things to run water through right now, you run water through copper. I hope it's grown it, but then it's another double-edged sword. The reason why I'm so, so uh, gun hole on copper now, I just got this epiphany, by the way. I had it once before, but now I got it down on film. Copper. You see that thing up there? That, my friend, is a cantana. I built that cantana. When you build a cantana, go look it up. Or you don't have to build one. I don't like telling people what to do. But it's for the kids. I, I'm hoping we're getting this somewhere. But if you check out cantana, look up for the driver if you want. But the driving element is copper. Now, riddle me this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get in the showmanship, and I don't want to be. I want to be like riddle me this Batman, but. Um, let's just let's just look at it. Why do you think they removed pennies for my money system? Could it have anything to do with copper? You need copper for to be to be a driver. Now the question is, is how much damage is it going to occur for people having copper piping in their home and Wi-Fi? Because it will get drawn to it. It will. Then if you have it grounded, then there's another double-edged sword because you have a thing called ground current and cattle were dying from it and yada, yada, yada. And hopefully you'll understand why I want a free food forest. So you can just heal. Heal and all this information just flows to you. So where am I at? Oh, we're at 19. Or 919. We're going to finish this pharmaceuticals, off. All those cosmetics, all the stuff that's in there. You know what? It's changing the chemistry in our bodies and it's hurting us. La sal y todo lo que evidenciamos que en solamente en nuestro... Puse con lo... Hello? Y por la costa...
to work at homes in eight countries. She was ill. A variety of bacteria. Touch University. Touch Safer or bed. Touch Live will only drink bottled water. And water is something we already pay for. Leading brands are basically tap water, often sold for more than the cost of gasoline. So today we're here at Tufts University. Live for water is better than for water. A variety of bacteria. So there were problems with about a third of the brands that we sampled. Some of the water we saw that had pictures of mountains on it, it was city tap water. Glacier water came from groundwater in Florida. Some of them said that they were pure amount. I mean, the, the list is very long. <laughs> We've... And, and here's, here's the part that, you know, the GMO labeling thing. Lo lovely effort. I know you have heart and it's great, but it's a trick. It's called corporate personhood. They have every right to lie to you. They can they can lie to you. They can lie and tell their employees to lie to you. It's happened one before. And it happened with food. Exact same thing. But it wasn't GMO labeling. It was actually chemicals being put. It was uh, growth hormones used on the cows. And the Fox told them, no, you cannot tell people that, that because we're going to lose money from from you know selling that. You tell them this, and they got they got fired. I got fired and it was perfectly, I think they did, there was a loophole in it, but it still sticks. It still stands today. They have every right to lie. But, um, double-edged sword again too, uh, you have every right to lie too. Look at your ID and your, your ID, your social security card, all capital letters. The only thing that's in all capital letters is corporations. That whole thing, that whole mess of all those words and stuff, it's all flight just to get you away from the garden. That's that's the deal. That's what keeps you alive is a garden. Not all that stuff. Not this is right, that's wrong. A garden. A garden with fresh water. Not 116,000 man-made chemicals. Now really, does anybody see this at all? Please type down there and be like, wow, dude, that's amazing. Or something. Not even wow, dude, that's amazing. Like, wow, I didn't even think of that. Your chili, your, your, your canned chili, your canned vegetables, all sitting in tap water. But, but just think of that. The bottled water, bacteria... Are neither dead or alive, or viruses, neither dead or alive. They inhabit hosts. All they need is light to reactivate. Grave diggers know this. So now you have bottled water sitting up there, and then you're gonna you're gonna pass it, you know, pass the UPC. That is a laser. You're gonna pass it through there, and then you know, and there's all types of different thoughts, you know, you keep running through. But stay out of those three three states. Flight, fright, and stare. Uh, if you are anybody who works in the Police fire and rescue. Please check out Tetra. It is the headset. Um, there is uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, of, uh, there's Wi-Fi in there that's causing a whole bunch of different things. Thank you. Tap water in your pancake.